Game number one against the Philadelphia Phillies was one of the best of Kendall King's career. He had three home runs, five RBIs, and he led the Cubs to a 1-0 series lead. Now for us, we have Juan Ferreira pitching. He started one game and has a 9.0 ERA, so I have a feeling we gotta score a lot of runs. Kendall, you might need to hit three home runs again to win today. Now we're in the field first because it is a home game, so there's a runner on first base, one out, and here we go with the 1-1 count. This ball's gonna be slapped over to Kendall. We're gonna try and get to it. We do get to it. We step on second. We throw the first. That one is gonna be significantly in time. We get the force out and we get the assist and we end the inning. So if you look at Kendall's batting average because he killed it last game and he's been on the hot streak, this dude's batting above 600 with five home runs and 11 RBIs in what's been essentially four to five games. This dude is on a whole nother level. So our first bat comes here in the bottom of the first inning, two outs and nobody on force. First pitch is down in the dirt, and yeah, Kendall might be a little eager to swing now. The 0-2 count, gotta protect that play, can't strike out this early in the ball game, and Kendall rips one to deep left center field. This one is going back to center fielders there at the IV end. This one is gonna be just shy of the warning track. A pop out for Kendall in his first at bat. Here at the top of the second, a runner on first, this time two outs. So all we gotta do is make one out, either at second or first base, and we can get out of this inning. The ball comes in on a 1-2 count, it's drilled, Kendall. Oh God, Kendall, no, that's possibly the worst decision you've made Probably an error if you ask me. If it's not, it definitely should be. Kendall is 0 for 1 of the ball game. Nearly went yard in his first at bat. It was, you know, kind of close to the warning track. But here we want to focus more on getting a base hit, driving in some runs. The Chicago Cubs will have three runs already in the ball game in the bottom of the third with nobody on and nobody out. Kendall's going to try to get some runs on the board, even more so as that four-seam fastball goes high. Bottom of the third. Nobody on, nobody out. 2 0 count. This one's in the middle of the plate. Again, Kendall slices it to right center field. This one is going to be an easy double. Possibly could get three, depending on how the center fielder handles it. He's going to get it in a little bit late to the second baseman. Kendall goes for three. He's going to slide in, and this one is underneath. They don't even bother to tag because they know Kendall is too fast. This dude is the fastest player in the major leagues, in his mid 20s, in his prime, as he gets a triple to start off the third inning. Now, here we find Anthony Rizzo. Mr. Rizzo, what do you got for us? It better be, you know, take a walk here or get a base hit and knock us in. And the pitch comes in on the 3 0 count, and Rizzo is actually not going to strike out, not going to ground out. He's going to take the walk and go over to first base. Now, up comes Cole Scruggs now. Runners in the corners, two strikes, nobody out. What are you going to do for us, Mr. Scruggs? Balls in, and Scruggs is uh, going to pull a Rizzo and strikes out there. Next up to bat is Jeffrey Mosher. Again, same situation. Runners in the corners, one out this time, and two strikes. Just don't be like Cole Scruggs. Just get a base hit, pop out to right field. Instead, you pop out to third base, which could just be horrible for us. This one is going to keep us stranded at the corners as the third baseman makes that pop out. And we have one piece of final hope now. It's David Tejada. We have a 3-0 lead, so like we don't really need the runs, but I would like to see him considering how much the runs our pitcher actually gives up. Now, Tejada's going to end up taking what looks to be a ball, so Tejada's going to walk the bases now, and the manager looks to be a little nervous. I don't blame him. Now, Nick Franklin, our second baseman, is up. One ball, two strikes, two outs and the bases are loaded. Be great here, be a hero, do something, Mr. Franklin. And this dude swung, I think, before the ball even left the pitcher's hand, and we're stranded, bases loaded. So Kendall's back up one for two in the ball game. The pop out to deep left center field in the first, and then in the third, he comes up with a nice little triple. What can he do here for Razan Core as we step up in the bottom of the fourth inning? We do have a runner on first base, but there are two outs right now. Kendall's looking to drive one out, possibly to deep right center field, if he can get a hold of one. This one's inside. They're jamming him here on this play as he fouls one off. The one-two count. A little bit of drama here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Got to make a play here, Kendall. And Kendall swings. Possibly the worst swing of his life. This one is going to go to first. And the runner is going to be safe at both first and second base. Kendall, you know what? A little crafty there. We'll take it, though. Here we go, Kendall. 2-4-3 in the ballgame. That triple was incredible. The last at bat was, you know, kind of crafty. Somehow we got on base. But here, later on in the ballgame, in the bottom of the sixth inning, we do have a runner on second base. There are two outs. Pretty much anything into the outfield is probably going to score this guy. First pitch is the inside, though, throwing a little too close for Kendall's comfort. The fans have stood up. They are ready for Kendall to do something great here. Can he give them what they came to see? This one is low, and Kendall hits it super high, super deep, but it's not going to be quite deep enough as the right fielder snags that one to end the inning. In the top of the eighth inning, the Phillies have made it a 4-4 ball game. A little rally of the roam, but a runner's on first base. There is one out, so a chance for a double play here. 
This ball smacked to second base. No one is there to get it. We were cheating a little bit too much. They move a runner over to third base. Now runners are going to be on the corners with a 4-4 ball game. We're in pretty much trouble. Here comes Kendall. Two for four. A triple in the sixth inning. You got to imagine they're going to need something here. I don't know if the Phillies have scored or not, but this game is a little too close for comfort. And did the Phillies score? They absolutely did. It is a 10-6 ball game now in the bottom of the eighth inning. Runners in the corners. We're going to go showtime here. First pitch is going to be inside, so we're going to lay off of that four-seam fastball as it just misses the plate. A home run here would be huge. It would drop us down to be only down one run. Kendall, you've got to do something to put this team on your back with only one out. Don't hit into a double play, though. And this ball's going in, and it hits Kendall. That is going to load the bases. They're losing grips of things right now. Kendall is on base. The bases are loaded, and we have a chance to tie this ball game up with one swing in the bat. And here comes Anthony Rizzo. One for three on the day, a single in the seventh inning. We're going to need a whole lot more power from him if we're going to capitalize and get into this ball game. So look, a 3-0 count. Most people are probably not going to swing in the 3-0 count. Kendall, of course, would. But will Anthony Rizzo swing at this one? Anthony Rizzo will not swing, and they're going to walk in the run to make it a 10-7 ball game. Here comes Cole Scruggs. This dude is due for hit. I mean, seriously, Cole Scruggs, you're 0 for 4, a strikeout the last time we saw you. Kick all the dirt you need to in the batter's box. Take your time and please, please drive in a couple of runs here. Now, here we go. Two strikes on Cole Scruggs. I'm not feeling too optimistic on this one. We're going to see what he can do, though. So the ball goes into Cole Scruggs. He's going to drill one. That's going to go to the second baseman. It looks like a double play, possibly. It's in the dirt. They flip it over to first, but he's going to be safe at first base. So we do get one run. Kendall has moved to third base now, and we have two outs. Jeffrey Mosher, two for four, two singles in the day. He's had a pretty solid ball game, but we need another single from him to drive in at least one more run. Look, runners in the corners, two outs, and only one strike here on Jeffrey Mosher. Now here comes the delivery in on Mosher. That's in on his hands. He drives it to third base. The third base and makes an easy play at second base, and we're going to go into the next inning down two runs. So here the Phillies are in the top of the ninth inning with one out and a runner on first base. We can get a double play here and end this ball game, or at least end this inning to try and get into the ninth inning and try to do something. And what a play by Franklin. Instead of going to second base, he does go to first. He gets the shore out that he absolutely needed. A smart heads up play, probably gonna got the double play. What a snag though. Here comes Kendall, two for four in the ball game. The triple in the eighth inning. He got hit the last time we actually saw him. Kendall, be clutch. There's a runner on second base. You can do this. It's a 10 to 9 ball game with the bases loaded for Kendall King. Be a hero, put your team up 2 0, or you could leave it up to something else. This ball's gonna be low. Kendall's gonna see what he can do here. He's gonna drive this one into the right field gap. This one is gonna score one run. He's gonna score two easily. Should score three. Kendall might get his second triple of the ball game. He's gonna move over. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a walk-off base hit. What a play by Kendall. You give him the bases loaded. He didn't hit the home run that we wanted, but still, it's a walk-off hit nonetheless. And the Chicago Cubs are gonna go up 2-0 as the entire squad just mobs Kendall over there at first base. What an end to this ball game. Moving into game number three, it is a 2-0 series lead for the Chicago Cubs after Kendall had that crazy, I mean absolutely crazy finish who are moving to Philadelphia for this next game. And before the game, they have to show your boy Kendall. I mean seriously, that walk-off base hit was one of my favorite moments of Kendall's career so far. I can't wait to see what he can do in today's game. Now today we're facing Randall Stevenson. Look at that ERA. Yes, I'm salivating at that. A 6.35 ERA. We can probably take advantage of this dude on the mound today. Get the squad ready because look at how unbelievable Kendall has been so far. 6.25 average multiple home runs multiple rbis and you know that sweet walk-off hit last game let's get it going for today's ball game now on the top of the first our teammates haven't been so lucky two outs for us right now and nobody on first pitch is again a slider in the dirt they like throwing sliders in the dirt at kendall and probably because he swings at them nearly every single time so here we go waiting on the next one in the dirt and you know what kendall finished the game incredibly well and starts the game on the polar opposite with the strikeout kendall's back up and honestly the strikeout was embarrassing but look we got it out of the way all the bad juju is gone now let's focus on the positives and drive in some hits here now we didn't get up again until the fourth inning this is definitely a pitcher's duel so in the top of the fourth nobody on nobody out inside two seam fastball kendall's not too happy with that one don't throw inside on him and you're okay but the moment you do you kind of flip a switch after starting this event pretty rough kendall's now moved into a 3-2 count this one is in the dirt and look at this kendall actually has a good eye and draws a walk not even getting hit by a pitch a six pitch at bat and he takes a walk now here comes anthony rizzo up with the one two count and nobody out we got a good chance to steal so kendall's waiting for the pitcher to show a little bit of movement the moment that leg lives up and Kendall is gone, this one's going to be close. Rizzo swings, misses, and Kendall gets a stand-up steal. When was the last time you saw him get a stand-up steal 
fastest player in the game, you bet. Now, Cole Scruggs is up, has better luck today's game than he had in the previous game. He's one for one so far with a single in the second inning. Kendall's waiting for that leg to move again, and Kendall's all for third base, and an easy chance to steal with that long windup. This one's hit to first base, and Kendall easily snags third base, but he's on third base now with two outs. Hopefully someone can drive him in. And here comes Jeffrey Mosher, top of the fourth, two outs, and Kendall is chilling on third base with a 1-1 count. Please knock us in, Mr. Mosher. And Mr. Mosher drives one right by the third baseman, an absolute laser to the hot corner. Kendall's going to score, and that gives us a 1-0 lead against the Phillies in their home ballpark. Now, Kendall's up with a walk, a stolen base, and a run. A pretty weird stat line for him. Usually there's a lot more power, a lot more base hits for him, but so far, so good in today's afternoon. Now, bases are juiced for Kendall. Normally, we wouldn't use Showtime this early, but with two outs and the bases loaded, we got to go ahead and swing for the fences here. So this one's going to be low. We're going to stay off of that one. It's a forcing fastball that just misses the bottom of the strike zone. Now, Kendall is eager to try and drive one. He's had good success using Showtime so far. What can he do here? He's going to try to lock in. This one is high in the zone. He's going to swing. Probably should not have swung. This one's going to be close. Can it drop in? Oh, it does drop. This one is going to be an error by the center fielder. Kendall is going to move from first base all the way over to third. If he had kept running the whole time, this could have been an inside the park home run or a grand slam. But instead, he gets three RBIs off that and he moves to third base. We will absolutely take that. I'm kind of blown away that, you know, Anthony Rizzo struck out two times today and that's fine. Maybe he'll strike out here, but still Kendall gets the pop out to center field. Should have been a routine play. But instead, it ends up being a three-run RBI. We're cool with that. Now, a great play there by the defender at the fence. Rizzo almost had one off the wall, but that one is going to be caught to the end of the inning. In the bottom of the sixth now, the lead is now 5 to nothing. A runner is on first base with one out, so a good chance for a double play now. Ball goes into the hitter. This one is right to Kendall. We're going to try to lay out for this one. What a snag. He's going to flip it to second base. Franklin's going to try to turn this one, and Franklin does not get it there in time. Still an incredible play by Kendall to make the diving stop. Unfortunately, no double play. Here comes Kendall. What a weird stat line for this dude right now. 0 for 2 technically because he had that pop out of the center fielder, but he got three RBIs that didn't really count for him. He got walked. He got a stolen base. He right now is the MVP in my eyes of this ball game. but we're going to see if we can focus on this at bat. And the first pitch is low, and Kendall slices it to second base, and his luck is not quite there, but it's been a weird game. Still, he's been crazy productive. Now, a 7-0 lead. You got to feel good if you're the Chicago Cubs about beating the Philadelphia Phillies today. Now, one out, nobody on. This ball's going to be hit kind of over to Kendall. We're going to snag it easily. Can we get the out at first base? Thought it was a pickup, but instead, a nice stretch by Rizzo gets the out to force that runner to sit down. And Kendall is back up. Still 0 for 3. If you just saw this, you would say, Kendall, this is the worst stat line you've had in the playoffs so far, but he's actually been really, really good today. So top of the ninth, one runner on, nobody out. We're swinging for the fences here. And uh, yeah, that was bad. Don't throw out your back, Kendall. With a 1-2 count this late in the game and technically no real base hits, you do not want to strike out if you're Kendall. Kendall slices one to right field. I have a feeling this is going to be a pop out, though. The right fielder is chilling literally in the middle of the right field, gets the easy out, and that is going to force Kendall to sit down with no base hits in today's ballgame. But still, the Chicago Cubs are going to walk out of here with a W. Say what you will about Kendall's performance in the second game. He still played really well. He got this team the W when they needed it the most. He got three RBIs, if you ask me, unofficially. So still a good game. We're going to walk out here with a W and a 3-0 lead against the Phillies.